Hello everybody, welcome to this special presentation. Today we have the CEO of Cartier Resources, Mr. Philippe Cloutier. If we take a look technically at the graph, uh, the company is staying there within a sideways formation. So it's a buy, technically speaking, at 1631. But Mr. Cloutier has some good news for us for 2014 because the company will be actually really active with their Chimo and uh, Burnra project. So with that, that said, let's introduce Mr. Cloutier. Mr. Cloutier, thank you for coming by. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, so you just completed the acquisitions of Chimo and the Brunner project. Uh, have you already started to analyze the resources on those projects? Yeah, and actually we did that many years ago. I mean, okay. the, the reason we acquired the project is we had conducted, you know, some study of these deposits uh, several years ago, mm -hmm. and it, it all came to fruition this year. Okay. Actually, the, the bad markets created that opportunity for us. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, Benoit and Chimo both fit our acquisition model, which is to focus on high-grade uh, neglected gold deposits. Both these uh, deposits, well, one of them was actually mined from the early 60s to right up until late 1997. The Benoit project, right? The Chimo, Chimo gold mine. Project, okay. and, and the Benoit was actually uh, delineated or partially delineated in the mid-90s. Mid but mm -hmm. both projects eventually were shelved for the economic environmental mm -hmm. reasons that we know. It was really bad times. I mean, mm -hmm. gold was at $250 an ounce. Uh, there was a Briex scandal. And the companies that had the projects mm -hmm. in their books, w you know, financially were, were in dire straits. So that, uh, that created the reason for the projects to, to stop. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, 20 years later, Cartier was around to identify that potential, and we acquired the projects. So you guys were patient? To yeah, you, you have to be patient, and you have to, to create the right, um, the right situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's one thing to want to acquire assets. Mm -hmm. You have to have the cash to do that. And for the past two years, we have been scaling back on exploration, well, pros, you know, early stage exploration. Mm -hmm. We have scaled back on um, administrative uh, expenses. Mm -hmm. We've scaled back on the team. We were conserving cash. We actually raised more cash. Mm -hmm. And all of that was a preparation, you know, in, in, in view of the fact that we felt the markets were going to be bad mm -hmm. and those markets were going to create opportunities for us to move in and purchase, which we did. Uh, Benoit was purchased in May yeah, and Chimo was purchased in July. Okay. And concerning that, because that brings me to question what you just said, uh, which of those projects is more advanced Chimo, uh, among Chimo and Benoit? And have you faced a lot of criticism because as you said, you guys made an austerity plan uh, to cut yeah. uh, some exploration program expenses, yeah. ex administrative costs, because uh, you guys are focusing on using your model to <coughs> actually yeah. uh, find the estimate the resources. So have you faced criticism from that from some investors saying that, how come you guys are not moving fast? How come you guys are not drilling to actually yeah. bring those projects into, into life? Two excellent questions. Uh, the, the, the first, uh, which one is more advanced? Mm -hmm. Well, technically speaking, since we are going to be drilling Benoit, January, February, and March of next year. Okay, and so it's official. Now. It's official. Okay. We're drilling that project. Okay. We're going to be drilling right beneath the established resources, the historical resources at Benoit, and uh, we're targeting high-grade intersections of you know five grams over 50 meters, mm -hmm. including subsections of 20, uh, 20 grams over 10 meters, and things like that. You know, so that, that's interesting, and and so that will guarantee that our investors get a run for their buck in in that first quarter. Um, and then, that, so technically speaking, Benoit is more advanced because we're going to be drilling it. Chimo, on the flip side, uh, it cannot be discounted because it was a previous producer. So historically, mm -hmm. we have a shaft, we have drifts, we have uh, you know uh, ore that was mined out, but we, there's also known or established potential underground, and and so. So to speak, if we were to, to drill that, the potential on that property, well, that is much closer to production than Benoit. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be advancing on both projects. The criticism we have faced, or I think we deserve to, to, to have in the past year or so, is that, indeed, we've scaled back our exploration, and in doing so, we haven't produced any news for our investors. Uh, we realize that that is something that we have to change, and mm -hmm. that's what 2014 will be about. We will drill Benoit and produce 
the type of news that Benoit was used to producing, which is high grade uh, and wide drill intersections uh, in January, February, and March. In Q2 of 2014, we intend to unveil uh, the potential that we have un uncovered at Chimo Mine Project. Mm -hmm. And uh, w well, in fact, that project's gonna be quite special because in light of what we're seeing, you know, we've determined it's going to require quite a bit of money, and the so the Chimo project. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. so we're 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 already shopping, or you know, uh, meeting people, potential partners to advance this project. And in fact, our entire portfolio in the past two or three years has gone from early stage exploration mm -hmm. to drill ready, uh, high grade either gold, copper, zinc intersections. Mm -hmm. So our potential partners can hit the ground drilling okay. and and we know that a lot of a lot of the potential partners out there want projects that are that can generate news fast okay and and so seniors as well as juniors so it not only will be drilling Benoit but we want to make sure through the partnership approach that we will be drilling uh, on on a good on a good amount of those projects okay. as well um, wha one thing that uh that we know about Cartier Resources is that uh, you guys manage your cash efficiently while right? you were yep. doing an austerity program and you guys were able to withstand the, yep. the bearish market with a s good amount of cash. Um, actually, with this now new drilling campaign that you're announcing in 2014, yep. uh, how do you reassure investors that the cash that we have right now, first of all, how much cash you have and the cash that you have right now, how are you going to allocate it efficiently in the drilling program? Because at this price, you know, it's not necessarily interesting to make a equity financing that's right we currently have 1.6 mm -hmm. million dollars in the bank so like we're not aching the fact that we're based in in Val d'Or Quebec our GNA is ex well relatively low compared to to most companies I'd say extremely low uh, compared to most companies and so we've got a control on that so we've got if we didn't do any exploration work mm -hmm. we could basically survive for the next three years okay because we've downsized the team considerably uh, the financing that we are considering right now in the next in the next month or so is a very smallish raise very focused uh, um, and it will be amongst uh, the investors our current investors and we will devote that money strictly to the Benoit drilling and so we'll still have that 1.6 1.5 million dollar cushion and but we firmly believe that the drill results on Benoit and the partnerships that we will bring in will stimulate interest in Cartier. And, and I, I realistically foresee that our stock will appreciate. And then perhaps the warrants will come in. And, and so, you know, we're, we're listen, in, in, in my business, mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I'm w we keep a positive outlook. And, and uh, if you're a pessimist in the exploration industry, <laughs> you have no reason being there. Okay. So um, the, the, the demand for metals will continue. I don't think the... Uh, so you don't believe Goldman Sachs uh, forecast that 2014 no, for gold prices? It, it, it's, it, it's interesting, but I don't spend much time okay. uh, looking at forecasts for of individuals that you know can't even deliver the uh, the gold to Germany that they were requested. So, <laughs> um, in in fact, uh, our job at Cartier is to focus on finding metals, be it gold, copper, zinc, silver. That's what we do when the market conditions turn we will have focused on what we do best and we will have a mineral inventory to serve uh, you know companies that are looking for resources mm -hmm. and if the conditions are so so right mm -hmm. perhaps we will take them ourselves into production would you consider to actually um, are you focusing most of your attention on trying to find a partner before starting uh, a drilling campaign or would you like to uh, start a Definitely. drilling campaign and Simultaneously look for a partner. Well, for the for the Benoit project, yeah. we, we already have interested parties in okay. the project, and we've told them we said, look, we're going to drill this, whether you're in or not. Uh, if we drill and we hit the mother load, don't expect the price of the project to remain the same. Um, and 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 so, we're monitoring the situation, but we believe in the potential Benoit, and we believe by investing in this next in this next drill program we're going to continue to create more value for the project. Eventually, the levels of exploration that one must do mm -hmm. to bring a project into production 
if the stock price of our company doesn't change, it would be much too dilutive to, to, to keep raising cash to yeah. do the work. So we have embarked on a, 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 an aggressive, I would use the word aggressive or dynamic, to, uh, to define the partnerships that we're, we're seeking right now. Okay. In terms of the, um, the partnerships, uh, would you intend to, with culture resources, uh, like to be some kind of a, a project generator? Uh, you know, find high grade projects uh, I, that have some potential and find some partners, make some deals. I take it, we did our job. Well, or uh, we don't really see ourselves as people renting out projects. Okay. Um, uh, but we do see ourselves um, acquiring projects mm -hmm. and making sure that the value created from the exploration or development of these projects. Um, Profits are investors, okay. and so if it's it, 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 it would appear that to get to the to the production mode quickest is to service the exploration and development with a partner. So we will will seek out any type of partnership deal that will favor the development of the project. Uh, in in that respect, yes, we resemble a project generator, mm -hmm. uh, but with a with a with a you know, um, a little a twist. A little twist. We focus on projects that are exclusively in the Abitibi, near infrastructure, and on projects that have high grade, um, and and that can be drilled right away. So, in that, we are a bit different from most project generators that will usually, you know, generate concepts or idea, mm -hmm. and and the first programs will entail, you know. Uh, grassroots or mm -hmm. geophysics and then eventually go to drilling. We like to do all of that ourselves first and then once the project has reached a really uh, obvious potential, mm -hmm. then we seek a partner. And so far are you satisfied with the potential that the uh, Chimo yeah. and... Uh, yeah. 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 It, now, you know, we could, now when we meet the partners, mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's a very, uh, there's a very honest and uh, overt mm -hmm. conversation going on. They can see where the money they're going to be investing okay. is going to go, how that success will materialize in additional resources. They could see their exit strategy. Okay. We can see our exit strategies. Um, and, and it's all to the benefit of our shareholders uh, because they will, the work that, the, the news releases that will stem from that, mm -hmm. you know, consistent and, 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 and that work being done on the projects is going to eventually generate, uh, well, I hope, a spike in the stock price. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, if we take a look at, at your company right now, um, what are the main uh, objectives for 2014 for Corti Resources? and? An investor has been looking for at your, at your story because it's the fourth time now that you're coming to yep. visit us, um, and is not convinced yet of your story or are you going to be able to make it? How would you convince him for with two reasons? Okay, we've been here four times, and over the course of those four times, we did announce our colors. We'd say, look, we're going to we're going to generate these these ide these projects. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring them online, and then we're going to develop them. So we've actually gone from an early stage explorer to an explorer with advanced projects. Our objectives for 2014 are very clear. Get drilling on Benoit mm -hmm. done. Advance uh, the value added targeting on Chimo, Mine Chimo, and seek out partners to aggressively pursue exploration on all fronts, on all of our projects. And if we accomplish that, then our investors are going to get a steady stream of you know strong news flow, you know get really good nice press releases, mm -hmm. and and all of that eventually by the end of 2014, will have shifted us from you know uh, an emerging uh, resource company mm -hmm. to to closer to what we all want okay. is ounces in the ground. Okay, excellent. So, uh, Mr. Crutzi, I wish you all good luck for yes. your strategies. Uh, I'll look forward also for follow up in 2014. Oh, for sure. And you're always welcome here in our studios to tell us, tell our viewers, this, our, your story. Well, February, March, you'll see Core from Benoit. Excellent. Look forward to see you. Thank you very much.